ago. It's like it's a chain reaction. And he told me specifically that when one falls, we must all fall. <laughs> and they've, they've really gotten a little bit better at combating that, but we'll see. This is Tan Sheen. She is anchoring this team. Remember, three up, all three scores count. Oh, beautiful. Look at the, the line, as Elfie said, the knees and the toes and perfect topped out handstand positions. Once again, right there. Beautiful. I don't know how the judges find the deductions they find in some of these routines. I saw one or two there. Well, but perhaps right here in this combination from low bar to high bar, this, you know, has been a, a weak spot for the entire world. I would have to say. They're still going to find way more deductions than I think exist in this exercise. Well, there was huge pressure for her coming in to anchor this team. She hit her routine, but that dismount will cost her some valuable tents. Yeah, it leaves a little bit of a sour taste in the judges' minds, I think. That first hop that she took was wider than shoulder width apart, so that means it's a three-tenth hop, and then the second one was at least a tenth off, so... Beautiful exercise, but almost a half a point in landing deductions. And the most important point in those landing deductions, especially in this format, is that can make all the difference in the final standings. It's deductions on landings, leg separations. So I would say that China underperformed by about two points on this event, and Team USA on vault uh, they didn't overperform, but relative to the rest of the world, they hit it out of the park. So Team USA has the lead. China has a major mistake. But you know there are more than two nations involved in these world championships. And when we return you to the competition in Tokyo, we'll see where the Russians and the Romanians plan to fit in here on NBC Sports. United States doesn't have Alicia Sacramoni. The Russians counter with, hey, we don't have Aliyah Mustafina, who in 2010 defined state of the art in gymnastics. But between then and now, a torn ACL and a complete knee reconstruction. As it is for Sacramoni, the question for Mustafina remains can she return to form in time for the Olympic showdown in London? And Tim and Elfie, what do the Russians fill her missing spot with? Yeah, they can't fill that spot at this point, and that's what has really hurt them. But, you know, it's funny. I talked with head coach Alexander Alexandrov from Russia, and he said that every day for the last month and a half, Elena Mustafina has begged him to put her on this team. He says she's the leader, the heart and soul of the team, and she is sorely missed. But they have brought a little inexperienced to this team for these world championships along with some athletes who have been here before and know how to get the job done. Again, the big story so far, a major mistake by the Chinese on the uneven bars, a huge hit by Michaela Moroni, and we'll see her coming up in floor. Beautiful double twisting. Yurchenko just a little bit sloppy. She kind of misses one of her hands on that block. You see that? And so she doesn't get the rise off of the table that, you, that we saw, frankly, from all three Americans. Sania Fanoseva, 14.800. I think we always have to reemphasize. What does that mean? Well, to put it in perspective, Michaela Moroni from the USA, she scored over a 16 on this event. That's over 1.2. Victoria Kamova of Russia. She's actually capable of doing the same vault we saw from Michaela. Don't think she's going to do it, and she didn't. She just went. But what she does, she does incredibly well, and she has been riddled with ankle problems all year long and just has not been prepared to perform the two-and-a-half twist. She is a fabulous gymnast, though. A little bit inconsistent in training, but beautiful lines, execution, her mom was a great gymnast for the Soviet Union, Kolesnikova, and she actually was a world champion on the 1985 team and the 1986 Goodwill Games all-around champion. A very good score, 15.033. The way this works is the United States sends up their three, then the Russians respond, and over on the uneven bars, first it's the Chinese three, and now the Romanian three. 
And again, it's the three scores. They all count. So a major mistake is a major mistake. Elena Amelia Rosea. And don't be surprised if you see Romania, certainly not at the top of the leaderboard, because this is by far their lowest scoring event. Historically, they have struggled immensely on the uneven bars. Nice combination there, but you're going to see, if you just remember back to the intricate work of the Chinese and the absolute perfect form, that, that they're really not, they're not in their league. <laughs> Oof, very early landing, let go on, on the dismount, and then a huge step forward. Not, I would say that both of those were three-tenth deductions. And this routine only scored a 13.0 in the first day of qualification, so certainly not a not a top score at all. And a big story for the Romanian women is the return of their legendary coach, Octavian Bellu, and we'll talk about the possible effect of that as we continue here in Tokyo. But are you seeing any of his effect here? Yeah, they look better. There's no question. You know, and I had an opportunity to speak with him before the competition began, and he said, you know, we're not there yet, but I think we have time. And they are not there yet with a 13.000 for Elenia Emilia Resea. So the United States riding a major vault score take the lead at the World Gymnastics Championships. More from Tokyo after this. It's still the first rotation in the team final of the Gymnastics World Championships. The place is Tokyo, Japan. Tatiana Nabiva of Russia. And again, three gymnasts in each rotation. All the scores count. Tatiana was part of the gold medal team last year at the World Championships. And a good vault, but you know. Form. Yeah, definitely sloppy in the air. And at the last World Championships, the Russians were the team that had the super difficult vaults. She did that two and a half twist that we saw from both Jordan Weber and Michaela Moroni. And so did Elena Mustafina. But they're playing it safe. Yeah, her coach, who was here as a judge also, Valentina Ter Tereshova, she told me that she has been battling a hamstring for really la the last six months and she just can't run fast enough. Back to the Romanians. What is it that Octavian Bellou told you, Tim? <laughs> he says, we try to train our gymnasts like commandos or Navy SEALs do it wherever, whenever, in the jungle, the mountains. Doesn't matter how big the meat is, nothing else matters. And that is, that is what he believes, and he brings that to the table. And because of that all-or-nothing attitude, the Romanian team, who were really, they were on a downward spiral, I, I believe that they are still a factor even here and will be much more so in London in less than a year. And they're expecting from this young lady, Anna Pogros, who was one of the bright spots in 2009, she came onto the scene to be one of the leaders. Nabiva for the second place Russians, 14.666. So 10 months from now, we'll all be watching what happens at the Olympics in London, England. And that is where Elizabeth Twiddle is from. The pressure for every single Great Britain athlete to win in a situation where they think they can win is enormous, and that's the situation she'll be in. Well, and a little of that pressure has been lifted off this women's team because they have, in fact, qualified to London, unlike the men's team, who must return next January and qualify for their Olympics. It doesn't look like she's doing this second nature, does it? 
You know, Beth's strengths come in the tumbling department, the choreography, you know, not, not really her forte, but, you know, she's been on this world stage before and she has won medals at the world competition. She's actually a world champion on this event. Someone asked Beth if she would be here today had it not been for London hosting the games next summer, and she said, probably not. Probably not. I wanted that opportunity to compete in my own country. Very difficult, as you said, Elfie, tumbling in this exercise, but there's actually a component in the rules right now that talks about artistry, and they can take a straight deduction. Yeah, that was lacking in this routine, yeah, for sure. And I would say she'll get that deduction. But it's, it's a shame, you know, not just on floor exercise, but she is phenomenal on the uneven bars. Should be one of the contenders for gold in London, but she didn't even qualify to the finals here in Tokyo. As you can see, the first rotation is done. Scores still coming in. Anna Porgras has given her Romanian team a 14.066. It should be great news for the United States. As for Great Britain's Elizabeth Tweddle, a 14.533, and compared to the other scores that we've had, that's right in the middle of things. We'll be back and return you to Tokyo, Japan, as the 2011 World Gymnastics Championships continues here on NBC.